Mental health has been a major topic among the media and younger generations. The mental health movement has spread rapidly among millennials and Generation Z to the point where prominent social influencers have ads for talking to peers about mental health. Mental health is an interesting subject because everybody knows about it, but nobody really knows how to talk about it. Open dialogue is only welcome. If you really care about someone and you really want to help, you understand that the signs may be there and they may not want to talk about it but it's always important to keep those lines of communication available. If not open, at least available. Let them know that you care enough to be there when they need it. As this movement gains momentum, healthcare professionals have noticed an increase in mental health diagnosis among college students. The rise in diagnoses such as anxiety and depression is due to the mental health movement because the movement is allowing for uneasy college students to seek out treatment and diagnosis. Although the increase in diagnosis may be due to an increased stress from college, the mental health movement has opened a level of communication that allows students to seek out help and be open about it with others. With the movement's pressure to be open about their mental health, more and more students have come out with their diagnoses. Coming out with a mental health diagnosis has become a slippery slope into getting more students tested for mental illnesses. In turn, it starts the cycle of diagnoses among college-age generations. Gary Enos recently emphasized that 6 out of 10 people are not receiving the mental health care they deserve. If we are not advocating for those with issues to seek help, then we are no better than the older generations that used to shame people for seeking medical help for their mental illnesses. This issue feeds into the reality that the movement is enough to push to cause students to invest in a diagnosis. Doctors are easily accessible on college campuses, being just a phone call away, and are included in tuition. When treatment is so accessible and a movement among your peers is so loud, it is difficult to ignore your mental health issues. Gen Z shouting among the masses has really changed the way companies market to these generations as empowerment in your shortcomings has become commonplace. As the mental health movement has gained more momentum, more statistics have come out about the mental health of college students. Estatics compiled many studies and found that two thirds of those with mental health issues do not seek treatment. However, after the mental health movement caused by millennials and Generation Z in 2012, the number of college students seeking counseling jumped to around 65% compared to the 2007 percentage of 19%. As the movement has gained more momentum since the pandemic, 28% of students have expressed that the most pressing issue on college campuses was the mental health concerns. There is also a pressing issue with access to mental health treatment, which the movement has pressed to change within campuses, many students of which have formed rallies and protests over the lack of accessibility. Estatics also discovered 64% of those on college campuses did not know or have any mental health resource information on college websites. However, as the movement gains momentum, Colleagues are forced to address the growing issue that the number of counselors is insufficient for the number of students on college campuses. When college students from Gen Z come to the idea of mental illnesses being a stigma, the generation often fights for the acceptance of something many people experience at some point or all of their lives. Researchers of the Journal of Adolescent Health concluded that mental illness is still rampant among students. Many students feel ashamed that they are seeking medical assistance for their illness. This is what the generations have sought to destroy as those with disorders such as DID are becoming advocates for far less severe illnesses to employ those more mentally healthy than them to nullify the idea that no one is mentally ill but yourself. The med mental health movement acknowledges that Although accessibility for professional treatment is vital, not everyone can access that form of therapy. Therefore, this movement has also started a new strain of advocacy for self-help. 
People like Burstow advocate for listening to the body's biology and trying more alternative methods of mental health relaxation before turning to counselors and medication. Often, therapy is presented as the only alternatives to improving someone's mental condition without medication. However, plenty of societies and ideologies do not believe in psychiatrists or do not have them, but remain happier overall than those regularly attending counselors. Burstow emphasizes that regular exercise, mental health days, and time outside significantly improve the health of many young people that complain of anxiety or severe depression. Gen Z has played into this to the point where a good majority of the mental health movement is removing yourself from situations that cause severe burnout, anxiety, or depression. Gen Z has been one of the most understanding and open generations to come about in a long time, especially when it comes to mental health. Many students have realized that they are far less likely to have self-compassion in college, which is a significant factor in self-forgiveness, vital to preventing doubts and depression from building up within the mind, which was talked about a lot in the book, Self-Help Movement in, the Me in Mental Health. These college-age students have even acknowledged that certain personalities are associated with a predisposition to one kind of mental health issue or another. As the average college student realizes that self-help forms are more accessible and the stigma is disappearing rapidly, those that a medical professional has not yet diagnosed are now seeking out their diagnoses. This has become a form of understanding yourself and your own body within the community of these young adults who so desperately look for an identity. This mental health movement has become quite the initiative to change how we treat mental disorders and disabilities. Kostyuk and others pointed out that these students push for proper treatment in normalizing conditions such as depression, anxiety, and bipolar disorder. The central concept that this movement stands behind is if we are not advocating for those with issues to seek help in some form, then we are no better than the older generations who used mental health issues as a form of punishment and shame. Whether the uptick in mental health issues is because of a rise in social distress and schoolwork, or if it's due to the movement that has been encouraging people to seek out help for years, the answer is likely a mix of the two as social unrest has increased significantly. Still, there have also been more and more people being open and realistic about their health issues that have allowed peers to relax into the reality that it's okay to not be okay mentally. A 2016 survey about anxiety in college students found that 50.6% of students suffer from overwhelming stress. As many of 75% of those diagnosed with anxiety disorders have their first panic attack or anxiety attack by age 22, implying that many of them have had the most stressful years of college, which has resulted in their anxiety. College is a stressful environment that puts pressure on a lot of students at a young age. However, the mental health movement incited by millennials and Generation Z have allowed those students to further advocate for their mental health status and push for a calming acknowledgement that mental health disorders are not going away anytime soon. To embrace your issues has now been a healthy response and is encouraged by younger generations, which has now leaked into our older generations that until now remain to be the most headstrong. These advocates have created an environment where even the most stubborn of ages, the baby boomers, are willing to accept that they may also have mental health issues and now treat them as such. Some will still take some wearing down, but the fact that this movement has not only caused college-aged people to admit to health issues and the generation who practically invented bullying for mental problems means that this generation is here to make some significant changes to medicine. These college kids are here to make some noise and be heard, and they've got the momentum after almost a decade of pushing for mental health awareness.